Okay, so today I'm so excited. We are going to talk about what to do when affirmations don't work. I think just about everyone has experienced times in their lives when they've said certain affirmations, hoping and believing that what they were saying was going to come to pass and manifest itself, only to be let down and to realize that, oh, not all of these work. And so I'm going to address that today, and I know that by the end of this video, I'm hoping you'll have some added inspiration and, and some motivation to go out and try what I share with you today, because it's incredible. It will change the way you completely look at affirmations, how you do affirmations, and it will help you so that you never get stuck in that spot in your life when you feel like, oh, well, why me? They work for everybody else, but I guess they don't work for me. So we're going to change that. A couple of months ago, I discovered this book, Feelings Buried Alive Never Die by Carol Truman. And you may have heard of it before. It's actually a pretty popular book, and um, I believe it was published in 1992. And so it's been out for a while. Um, but if you haven't read it, and if you've never heard of it, I am telling you, go out and get this book today. Okay, so in this book, Carol talks about, um, she talks about feelings that we bury within ourselves and we, we have these, these false beliefs. We have these things that we tell ourselves such as, I'm not beautiful or nobody likes me or things never work out the way I want them to or I have no control over my life. There's just, you know, the list goes on. There's so many lies that we tell ourselves and uh, surprisingly, according to Carol, we sometimes arrive into this world with those beliefs already in us um, as they're passed down through our DNA from our parents and their parents and the generations beyond. So a lot of times we're born into this physical body with these beliefs already embedded in our DNA and um, just even those very first experiences we have when we're born up until you know where we're at today all these experiences will help us um, create these thoughts about ourselves and the way that we see the world. And we bury them within us and they're there. They're there to stay unless we do something about it, unless we release them. So that's what I'm going to talk to you today about. So in her book, she has this awesome script and she'll refer to it as the tool and eventually the script. But I'm telling you, it is intense. It's incredible stuff. And what you do is you find those buried beliefs that you have in you. And if you don't know what they are, some, some giveaway clues are things that stir your emotions really easily. What are those triggers? What are things that really bother you that get you really worked up really quickly? Those will give you the clue. They'll give you the clues as to what beliefs you're festering deep down inside that are not true. Because they get you angry. They get you on edge. Or they make you sad and emotional. So that's a good place to start. Another way to, to figure out what those feelings are, or to find the clues as to what you have buried inside of you, is to take a look at your affirmations and your goals that are not working out. So make a list, write down all the things that you've been hoping for and striving towards and trying to affirm into your life, and for some reason or another, they're just not happening. So that's another place to look, so make a list. Okay, so I did this, and I'm telling you this because I did this the day I read this chapter in her book. I did it right then and there. Okay, so there were a lot of things that started happening within a 24-hour period after I did the script. Everything just started happening so quickly, I couldn't even keep track of it all. But every time I recognized an affirmation coming to pass, I would instantly get down on my knees and thank the Lord for blessing me with those with those goals and those affirmations happening. I was so grateful and I recognized that everything good comes from Him. And that is key right there is recognizing it and thanking Him on the spot as soon as you can. So I'm only going to share with you four of, of the affirmations that started happening within 24 hours after doing the script. So the first one um, is a lady. It's about a lady and just for the sake of this video, I'll change her name to Tara. We'll call her Tara. So this woman named Tara, I had met um, last year 
and she is the absolute most incredible lady I have met in the last year of my life. Just absolutely an amazing woman. And she's one of those people who can make so many things happen in her community. She's an amazing example to so many people. She's got incredible faith, incredible talents, incredible abilities, and uh, just a beautiful, amazing, all-around bright light of a person. So I thought, why not? I will put her as one of my affirmations. And I wrote her name down, first and last name, and I wrote as my affirmation, she is reaching out to me. She is contacting me. Because remember, you always want to do it in the present tense, as though it's already happening. So she was my first one. Okay, so before I tell you how that one came to pass and how it played out, um, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm going to tell you about the second item that I had on my list that had those deep-seated feelings buried that I released through the script and how it has to do with Tara. <laughs> okay, so I have this product you may have heard of. It's called Hydro Hill, and um, that's a whole other story, but it's part of my affirmation, so that's why I'm sharing it with you. It's a foot care ointment that um, transforms dry, cracked feet and actually transforms dry, cracked skin in general all over your body. You can apply it anywhere, and it's amazing stuff. So I have a company a couple years ago who licensed it out for me. So they've licensed out the Hydro Hill brand. Um, I still have the formula, so I can do what I want with the formula. But um, long story short, they didn't buy all of my inventory. They started making it in a two ounce jar. And I have these larger four ounce jars. So I have this giant inventory in my garage that used to be in a warehouse. I've now got it in my garage. and. I haven't been doing much with it because life is just so busy. So I put that as one of my affirmations that I could move a lot of this product out of my garage very quickly and I wasn't having to put a lot of effort into it. It was just moving on its own, just quickly selling. Okay, now the third affirmation I'm gonna tell you about is a financial one. And I simply say, um, the balance of my checking account is growing larger each day. Simple as that. Okay, so before I did the script, was my checking account balance getting larger each day? No. <laughs> was I moving a lot of product out of my garage? No. Um, had Tara reached out to me? No. And, and um, it didn't stop me from doing these, but I wanted to know why, why nothing was happening. So, like I said, it hadn't even been 24 hours. The very next day, I'm sitting at my laptop and I'm a part of this new group that friends of mine have, have been telling me to join for quite a while. And when I'm on the, the page of this group on Facebook, I see someone post something about a foot product that they sell and they happen to live in the same city that I live in. And at first I thought, oh, that's kind of a coincidence. But then this voice came into my mind that said, you need to post your foot product on here and let everybody know you live in the city and that you know you you have this product available in your garage and you're going to offer it for a great deal you'll sell it at wholesale cost and uh, at first i thought oh i don't want people to think the only reason i joined this was to promote my products or you know that's not why i'm on here i don't want to do that and i haven't even posted anything on here i'm new to the group i don't want them to think i'm just coming in here to sell them something so I struggled with it for a minute. But as I've always learned, when a thought comes into your mind, act upon it. Act upon it quick because every thought that you have throughout the day, anything that's good and is going to help you, it always comes from the spirit. It always comes from that higher power and you need to act on it. So I set aside my fears and I, I posted it on there. Now, I wasn't expecting a reaction like this, but instantly, Requests just started coming in, messages, uh, people wanting my phone number, uh, emails, people texting me, just all kinds of inquiries about this product that I had just listed. Everybody wanted some. And so I spent the next several days emailing people, putting together packages, calling people, putting together orders, and um, I had a PayPal account, so people were just putting money into the PayPal account. So then my other affirmation came to pass. 
my checking account balance was getting larger each and every day from that time forward as we speak right now. So I've got product moving out of my garage at speeds that I can't even keep up with. I've got the balance of my checking account growing and I can't keep track of it. And then, <laughs> to put the cherry on top of the ice cream, I get this message from Tara, who happens to also be a member of this group, who had seen my post. Mind you, there are hundreds of members of this group. She sees my post, she reaches out to me, and contacts me and wants to order some of my product. And she sends me a personal message, and from there we get a conversation going and we're talking, and. She invites me to some events and things like that. Anyways, the point is, is that quickly, three of my affirmations came to pass that fast. It was incredible. And it's all because I had released those emotions from the day before, those thoughts and feelings that um, were holding me back. These false beliefs, these lies that my subconscious was was believing, was hearing repeated every day. So no matter how hard I tried to reach any of my goals, that were tied to these feelings, these feelings were pulling me back and I was never gonna reach those goals and achieve those affirmations because of what was pulling me back and what it was telling me the opposite. So it was undoing everything I was working so hard to do. A couple more things I just wanted to share was, of course I had, um, I've always had affirmations about my health and my weight and my sleep. Um, you know, I am experiencing you know, eight hours of sleep or more, or my body is feeling as though it's getting the sleep that it needs to function properly each day, because no, you know, anyone who has a baby knows that you don't get the best sleep every night, and I am a light sleeper, so I had to undo those thoughts and feelings of, yes, I'm a light sleeper, I don't sleep very good, I, I will never get sleep as long as I'm a mom, and all these thoughts and feelings that were not true, um, that I was manifesting negative things in my life with. So I plugged those into the script also, and that following night, I woke up for the first time with sleep that was un uninterrupted. I had uninterrupted sleep. I woke up feeling refreshed, renewed, strengthened, revived. I was so alert, I didn't need to sleep in. I was able to just jump right out of bed and spring forth into the shower and changed my whole day completely. And then, before I get into the shower, I step on the scale, you know, that's my routine every morning, and for the first time in weeks, I lost an incredible amount of weight. I lost two and a half pounds in one night. Now, I release these feelings and thoughts and emotions, and the very next morning, I step on the scale, and bam, I'm two and a half pounds lighter. I got uninterrupted sleep. I'm feeling great. I'm recognizing all of these other affirmations that are all of a sudden so quickly coming to pass because I plugged those false beliefs and, and thoughts into the script and I released them. Okay, so I'm telling you, this works. If you are one of those people who experiences affirmations that don't work, goals that never seem to come to pass, if you feel hopeless, if you feel at the end of your rope and you've kind of just given up, don't give up. Get this book. It will change everything. Feelings Buried Alive Never Die by Carol Truman. This is a book you want to get right away. Okay. Thanks so much for, for joining me today. This is a really important topic, and I hope you revisit this video again and again, especially after you read this book. And I hope it gives you the inspiration and motivation that you need so that you can manifest the things that you want in your life. Thanks so much for joining me. For more tips on how to be happier, you can check out my website at yourhappylady.com. You can also follow my videos on my YouTube channel under Happy Marriages. That's all one word. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.